Hello G3GN, uh, my name is Jeremy and I just opened an account with you guys so I thought I'd do a video and show you a little bit about my car and I've actually been on uh, Chevy Talk for a while and and uh, I've known about you guys since the beginning I guess but I really haven't worked on my car uh, at all for, for a long time so now I'm trying to motivate myself to get to work on this thing and and I thought maybe by, by uh, joining with you guys getting some feedback would kind of motivate me more than I can do on my own apparently so here's my 73 and I've done some work to it when I first got it it had a thrashed interior and uh, and so it's dark in here but it needs a headliner it needs pretty much everything I got a seat upholstery kit from OPGI and uh, I recovered the, the the bench seats there myself some of them are up uh, covered in plastic right now and I put down new carpet, and uh, then I put the car on the side of my old house where it rained, and the the rainwater would fall right into the window channels. And it, when I took it out of storage on the side, it it my doors were filled half up with water, and so lots of extra rust developed from just storing it uh, underneath the edge of the roof line. And uh, some of it is right here. You can see on the quarter window, I got some. I got some repair work ahead of me. Uh, I've already taken out the, the back window and I still haven't really vacuumed it all out but there's plenty of rust to to try to deal with here and same thing on the trunk floor. So what else? Down here I can have a nice surprise waiting for me. I don't know what's underneath this Bondo but I'm gonna find out. So let's see I'll keep on going around here this is my starting point. Um, I used to have an El Camino. I gave it away to one of the members on here, this girl that lives in the area. I don't know. I think she parted it out. That's the uh, that's the, the engine that was in the El Camino, and that's just a 350 with Dart Iron Eagle heads on it and never got it to run too well. Here I have a 400. No, this is a, a Vortec 350 late model uh, engine. And somewhere around here, I have. Uh, there it is. I got a 400. Uh, it's too dark; you can't see. But on that tire is a 400 small block. And so my goal, when I have money, is to put the Vortec heads on the 400 block, and uh, and go that direction. Over here, I have the 350 transmission out of the El Camino, and those two. Uh, you know, some one of these motors will end up in this Chevelle. So I do have a dash cap on here, it's not glued down. And one of the other benefits of leaving this car on the side of the house for the rainwater to get in uh, was that it, it completely mildewed and I don't know what that is, mold uh, developed on my steering wheel. So that's nice and sticky now. Uh, what else can I show you? So basically, you know, I'm in the process of bagging and tagging stuff as I go, trying to take, I'm gonna be taking out these quarter windows and uh, and then strip all the paint down. So most of my rust is on that other side. And anyway, so that's uh, that's my car. That's my story. What else can I tell you? Oh, I bought a a stand for the door that I haven't used yet. That that rug is on right here. So my goal here is to paint this car myself and take the door take the doors off and. Uh, and put new hinges in them or rebuild the hinges and, and just paint this thing in pieces. I'll take the fenders off and and whatnot. So there you have it. Uh, nice meeting you guys and I hope to be able to learn as much as I can from everybody. So thanks a lot.